If you're a Christian, let me just ask a quick question. How are you doing? If someone that had been involved with you a couple of years ago in your Christian faith saw you today, what would be their evaluation of you? And how are you helping another believer get through life? How are you discipling someone else, even as you're discipling yourself? Can we learn from those who came before us? Yes, I think we can. We can learn from the Apostle Paul and Silas. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 1 and 2 says, You know, brothers and sisters, that our visit to you was not without results. We had previously suffered and been treated outrageously in Philippi. If you know the story, they were beaten in Philippi, imprisoned. When they arrived in Thessalonica, the wounds would have still been fresh on their backs. But as you know, with the help of our God, we dared to tell you his gospel in the face of strong opposition. There is strong opposition. I think of the believers in France, what they're going through right now, the strong opposition there we're experiencing in America. Uh, Denis Diderot said, we'll not be free until the final king has been strangled with the entrails of the final priest. Now that's rebellion against authority. <laughs> that's a call for no boundaries, no restrictions in life, right? How are you doing in the face of opposition? Stay encouraged today. Paul and Silas said, our God helped us to share the gospel in the face of opposition.